In this video, I'm going to show you skills using ChatGPT that are so insane, they feel illegal. The difference between someone who pays for ChatGPT and actually gets their money's worth versus someone basically burning $20 a month is massive. I use ChatGPT every single day and these seven skills I'm about to show you, they feel illegal because 99% of people don't even know they exist. Let's jump straight in and I'll show you exactly how to use each one. Skill number one, ChatGPT can see and analyze your images. All right, so I'm here in ChatGPT and most people just type in messages. Well, watch this. If you click on this plus button on the left side, you have an option to add photos and files. What you're going to want to do is click on that and you can upload anything you want. Here I'm uploading a photo of pictures I took of pineapples at the grocery store yesterday. Now watch what I can ask. Which pineapple here is the best to get? If you look at the response, it's actually analyzing the color, the leaves, and the shape. Here it's telling us to choose one from the middle row because it's golden, fragrant, and has green healthy leaves. There are so many ways you can use this feature. You can take a picture of everything in your fridge and ask it, what can I make with all of the ingredients you can see here? You can upload a picture of your homework and tell it to solve a problem that you're having trouble with. You should really use this feature because ChatGBT used to not be able to do this. If you're not, you're really missing out on a ton of value. I can even ask Chat something like, what car is this? Here it's telling me it's the Bugatti Devo. It even tells me how much horsepower it has, how many units it made, and even the price. What's amazing is that you can see that chat can literally identify objects. You can also do this with screenshots of error messages, asking what's wrong and how do I fix it, photos of your outfit, what shoes would complete this look, pictures of plants, what plant is this and how do I make it grow. We can even do it with things like handwritten notes. Let's tell it to convert this to digital text. This one feature replaces so many apps that I used to pay for. Now, uploading images is cool, but what about entire documents? That brings us to the next feature, which is even more powerful. Skill number two, turn it into your personal document assistant. So we just saw how ChatGBT can analyze images, but this is where it gets crazy. Let me show you what happened just last week. I'm going to upload this rental agreement that I just got. It's 11 pages long. Now let's ask it, what are the key things I should know about this lease? Are there any unusual terms or potential issues? Create a simple summary of my responsibilities and send. Look at this, in 10 seconds, it shows that I can't end the agreement early, can't add any fixtures, and even flag that the late fee is higher than normal. Let me show you something even cooler. I'll upload this restaurant receipt and we can do something like this. Calculate how much each person owes if we're splitting this four ways. But Sarah didn't eat the lobster, so exclude her for that portion. Look at this, a perfect breakdown. No more awkward Venmo math. You can upload bank statements asking, what do I spend the most money on unnecessarily? Medical documents, asking it, explain this in simple terms. Instruction manuals, asking something like, how can I set the clock on this thing? Even recipes, convert this to serve 12 people instead of four. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. These techniques I'm showing you, these are the kind of stuff I teach in depth inside the Zero to Founder community. Link in the description. We go way deeper than this. I'm talking about building full AI systems to enhance your business's workflow. If you want the step-by-step -step guides and the templates we use, check out the Zero to Founder community below. We're building an army of AI-powered entrepreneurs. Now let me show you this third technique. It's probably my favorite. Skill number three, projects, your chat GPT memory system. Okay, so now you know how to upload files and get instant analysis, but here's the problem. Every time you start a new chat, ChatGPT forgets everything. That's where this third feature changes the game completely. So you just saw how powerful document upload is. But imagine if ChatGPT remembered every document, every preference, every conversation about a specific topic. That's exactly what the projects feature does. See this sidebar right here? Click on that, then click on projects and then new project. Okay, let's create one right now. I'll call it vacation planning. Now here's the magic. You can go to this top right corner, click on the three dots, then click on add instructions. We're gonna type in as much context as we can about this vacation that we're planning. I'm planning a trip to France for eight adults in November of the current year. Budget is $10,000 total. We love food, hate tourist traps, prefer walking. We're staying 14 days at the Hotel de France. All right, now I can click save. And now what you can do is click on add files, and from here, you can drag and drop files like your hotel or flight confirmation. And we can just drag and drop this here. Now that that's done, here's what's insane. Now every single conversation in this project remembers everything. Watch, what are the best restaurants near my hotel? It already knows what hotel, what dates, my budget, everything. I don't have to re-explain anything. Here you can see it gives us the top three restaurants near our hotel and some practical tips. I have so many other projects like my health, which gives me insights on what I should or shouldn't be eating based on my lifestyle, age, height, weight, whatever I put into it. Another project, LinkedIn, that gives me ideas on how to organize my posts based on the industry that I'm in. This is like having a personal assistant with perfect memory in every area of your life. Now, projects are amazing when you're on your computer, but what about when you're on the go? That's where skill number four becomes a total game changer. Skill number four, voice mode. Talk to ChatGPT like a friend. All right, so we've been typing everything so far, but let me show you something that completely changed the way I use ChatGPT. Let me grab my phone real quick. You're gonna wanna open ChatGPT on your phone and you see this button on the bottom right corner right next to the microphone? You're gonna wanna click that. It's gonna bring up this screen right here. And now just talk. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm having eight people over for dinner tomorrow night. Two are vegetarian, one has a nut allergy. I wanna make something impressive, but not too complicated. What should I make? And what's on my shopping list? Hey there, that sounds
sounds like a fun dinner party. Let's keep it impressive, but manageable. How about a couple of dishes that can please everyone? I suggest something like a roasted vegetable and feta tart as a centerpiece. It's vegetarian, no nuts involved, and it's got that wow factor with a flaky pastry base. Pair that with a big, vibrant salad, maybe a Mediterranean style salad with chickpeas, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, and a lemon olive oil dressing. And for a meal that's hearty and nut-free, a nice baked lemon herb chicken can round things off for the non-vegetarians. Here's a rough shopping list for all that. Um, pastry cheese, assorted veggies like bell peppers, zucchini, and Chinese tomatoes, feta cheese, eggs and cream for the filling, fresh herbs like thyme or basil. For the salad, mixed greens or romaine lettuce, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, canned chickpeas, lemons, olive oil, feta if you want a little extra cheese, chicken thighs or breasts, fresh lemons, garlic, fresh herbs like rosemary or thyme, and of course some basics like salt, pepper, and olive oil if you don't already have them. That should give you a delicious and inclusive menu that'll impress your guests without too much fuss. Look at how natural that was. No typing, just talking like I'm asking a friend. You can use this while you're driving, cooking, shopping, and even working out. The transcription is perfect every time. It's literally like having the smartest friend on speed dial. Speaking of having smart friends, what if you can turn ChatGPT into an expert of anything you need instantly? This brings us to skill number five, and this one saves people thousands of dollars. Skill number five, expert mode. Get professional level advice. So voice mode is great for quick questions, but what if you need actual professional advice? This is a skill that saves you thousands of dollars. Let me show you exactly how. All right, now I started a new chat, and this is where good prompting comes into play. Watch how I frame this. You're an experienced tax professional. I'm a freelancer who made $70,000 this year. I work from home, bought a new laptop for $2,000, and pay $100 a month for software subscriptions. What deductions am I missing? And how can I reduce my tax bill legally? Look at what it gave us. Foundational deductions, home office deductions, and even retirement contribution strategies. This is exactly what a CPA would tell you. Let me show you another one. You're a personal trainer. I'm 24, sit at a desk all day, and my lower back hurts. <laughs> I have 30 minutes, three times a week, create a specific exercise plan to fix my back pain. See how specific this is? All of the exercises, all of the sets, reps, and even some form cues. You can do this for nutrition advice, saying, you're a nutritionist, here's what I ate today. Career coaching, you're a career counselor, here's my resume. Home repair, you're a plumber, my toilet makes this sound. The key is being specific about the expert role and your exact situation. Now, getting advice is incredible, but it's based off of ChatGBT's training data. What if you needed current information, like prices, news, or reviews? This is where skill number six completely changes the game. Skill number six, real-time web search that actually helps. Okay, so we just got expert advice, but that's based on what ChatGBT learned during training. What about stuff that's happening right now? Most people don't even know that ChatGBT can search the web in real time. Let me show you. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the plus button right here, go to more, and then make sure web search is enabled. We're gonna type in, what are the deals on TVs at Best Buy right now? I want a 55 inch for under $500. If you look, it actually searched real websites right now instead of using old training data. If you look here, it tells you exact prices and specific models. Let me show you something even cooler. Find me three dinner recipes that use chicken thigh, take under 30 minutes and have great reviews from real people this month. If you look here, it's not just finding recipes, it's checking recent reviews, comparing cooking times, and even noting which ones are trending. You can use this feature to ask things like, what's the weather this weekend and what outdoor activities are happening in my city? Find the cheapest gas prices within five miles of me right now. What are people saying about the new iPhone update problems? Show me flights to Miami next month under $200. This replaces needing separate apps for everything. All right, web search is powerful for quick, current info. But what if you need to chat GBT to do serious research? Like spend 20 minutes investigating some type of research. That brings us to our final skill. And this one is absolutely insane. Skill number seven, deep research the nuclear investigation option. So everything we've done so far has been pretty instant, right? But sometimes you need ChatGPT to really dig deep, to investigate something thoroughly. This last skill is like hiring a research assistant. Let me show you. What we're gonna wanna do is click this plus button on the left side, then click on deep research. This is Chat's deep thinking model, which takes a lot more time, but it's highly efficient. Now we're gonna type in, I wanna buy a used car for under $15,000, research the most reliable models for 2018 to 2021, common problems to look for, fair prices in my area, and create a checklist for inspecting them. Include specific questions to ask sellers. Now we're gonna answer a few more more questions. Let's look for a sedan, electric. We're okay with getting it from both a private seller or a dealership and paying in cash. And you see this indicator right here, start researching. It's actually looking for multiple sources right now. This takes anywhere between one to two minutes, but watch what we get. Look at this. It's created a ranked list of the most reliable models for specific years, common issues for each model, current market prices in Washington, DC, a literal inspection checklist that I can print out and even negotiation tactics. It even added 20 different sources and citations. This would take you hours of research on different forms, apps, stores and educational websites. ChatGPT just did it for you like this. Now, before we wrap up, let me show you something crazy. You can actually combine all of these skills together. Real quick bonus, watch this. Analyze this label, search for whether these ingredients are actually healthy and suggest similar products with better ingredients that I can buy at Whole Foods. See this? Image analysis, web search, expert advice, all in one query. You're literally stacking these skills to create super powered requests. Look, these aren't just party tricks. These are real skills that save you time, money, and stress every single day. If you found this valuable, I need you to do two things. First, 
Actually try one of these right now. Don't just watch and forget. Pick one skill and actually use it today. Second, subscribe and hit the bell. I'm dropping game-changing tutorials like this every week that nobody else is breaking down step by step. Comment below which skill you're trying first. I personally read and reply to every comment and it helps me know what to teach next. And remember, you're not just learning ChatGPT. You're learning how to have a super intelligent assistant that never sleeps. Use it right and it changes everything. Don't forget to like the video. Peace.